So today I wanted to try the Stella Pro Reflex in a beauty dish. And I put it in and this is my light pattern, which technically is a beauty dish light pattern. But since I could, couldn't put it in any further with their bracket, because you know, their bracket's you know, shallow, and it, it kind of has to be because of the way the light is set up, I, I can't get it in any further. So it's, a, it's a definitely not a go for me. Um, so I figured, what the hell, I'll just go back to hard light um, <laughs> and do what I normally do. Um, now, like again, <clears throat> in the softbox, this thing works fine, um, but in the beauty dish, not going to happen. So here is the hard light with the wide adapter on it, and um, I'm, I'm going to start to shoot with this, um, add a second if I need to, and then go from there. Um, but anyway, so let's get into the shoot. So this is just the one wide adapter, hard light. Um, and, you know, obviously the light's not soft by any means, but it's a distance away. Uh, and it doesn't look bad at all, in my opinion. Um, I, I like the way it's looking. The panel on the left side, the camera left, is definitely pumping light back into her, softening it up quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like I said before, you know, these lights... Um, now, I have this one plugged in, so it's at 9,000 lumens, um, which helps a lot. And I bit the bullet, and I took my ISO up to 400 ASA. Or, I'm sorry, ISO. Um, and the, the shots were coming out nice. I had no issues with, with, with them whatsoever. Um, you know, I was dealing with the ISO 400. So you know, this is when I added a, the second light in, so I'm going to keep the one light on one side, this light on the other side. The one on, on this side is just a basically a hard fill. Um, I, I watched a pro photo uh, video the other day with a hard fill and I figured I'm going to try it. So I tried it with the LEDs and I really liked it. It was, uh, you know, the lights turned down just a little bit and it just, it's there just to fill in the harsh, harsh shadows, um, but not take away the hard light. Um, and this is what I ended up with. You know, you can see the hard light, you can see the shadows and I loved it. So now I went over to just one light. Um, because we're walking around and I went battery power. Um, and, but I put the white dome on here, so that softer white dome, um, diffused white dome, I wouldn't say softer, um, it's just a diffused white dome. And literally just walking around the building um, with this thing on a light stand, and yeah, I really wanted to see how, how long it would last too. Um, and I did get some decent time out of this battery, um, but it's, it doesn't go over 20 minutes. So, you know, you think, you know, during a shoot, if you could, you know, you shut it off, turn it on, and I did. Um, every time I wasn't using it, I shut it right off. Um, but, yeah, that 20 minute, that goes pretty fast, um, which, you know, kind of shocks you when you're doing it. Anyway, so the, the photos themselves um, bouncing off the walls, uh, the light bouncing off the walls, you know, that does soften it quite a bit because I'm in, you know, shallower uh, areas. Um, like that hallway and this elevator. Um, so it is what it is. It, you know, the diffuse light does help quite a bit. Um, you know, I'm, I'm anxious to try the roto lights for the, you know, ju the, just the steady light, not the flash, because honestly, the flash on this um, reflex is probably a little bit more powerful than the roto lights. Um, and it's still not powerful enough. I mean, it literally, you know, one of those flashes that are built into your pocket camera are more powerful than a roto light or a reflex. Um, I think, you know, the roto light and reflex would probably come in at uh, a guide number of four or five, um, and that's reality, um, versus, you know, a, a cheap, cheap pocket flash would probably come in at guide number of 34. So you can see the difference there. Um, but for you know, if you if you can put your ISO in 400 or up a little bit um, and use them that way, these things are great. And I think the roto lights are going to be, um, you know, just as good in constant light, um, not having to rely on a flash um, or, or flash power. Because uh, that's the mental thing with me is, you know, if I'm using an LED, you know, I'm, I'm wanting all that power. Well, you're not going to get it. So, you know, bump up your ISO and shoot. Uh, that's probably the best way to do it. And, but I do, I, like I said, I do love these photos. Um, you know, could I have done more with a flash? I could, I could have had cleaner shots. Um, could I have done more? Probably not more, but 
you know, cleaner, if, if that helps. Anyway, I just wanted to, you know, share the shoot with you, share the walk around. It was literally just to play with these lights and see what I could do. Um, and then I wanted to share the results with you. So anyway, have a great day and I hope you enjoyed.